everybody, I am Nancy Naram. Welcome to the Global Women Achievers Festival 2021. It is the season of weddings and I have just ended up putting a lot of weight. And since I never get the time to hit the gym or put myself into a fitness schedule, I thought that we will call on our show a certified fitness instructor. Shaina, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Pleasure being here. And this is an actual <laughs> issue which we will address later on. <laughs> So, um, tell us about your journey as a fitness instructor, Shaida. Okay. I was living and uh, working in Hong Kong and uh, when I quit and I came back to India, I was on the lookout for something to do so that I could, uh, you know, get myself back into having a regular kind of a life and uh, finding myself. That's when I discovered Zumba and uh, it was literally love at first session. Uh, so seven years ago, I decided to uh, become a Zumba instructor. I got certified and that's where my journey into the fitness field actually started. So, uh, you know, as you said, you, you had gone into a class and you decided that it's love at first step. So, um, uh, you know, what kind of uh, a feedback or what kind of inputs do you get from your parents i mean you know it's not like you'd been into a fitness journey did they take the whole thing seriously or did they think that hobby hai, isko hobby ki tarah karo? why do you want to make a profession of it so when i decided that i from being a student i would want to become an instructor uh, my husband my parents everyone would say that uh, what they said was like Kya zarurat hai? why do you need to you don't need to but um, for me, I knew this is my calling and this is what I really wanted to do. So I decided to just go for it. And uh, today they are really very proud of me and uh, they know that uh, I'm so passionate about it and I really love it. So yeah, they're happy for me. That's awesome. So Shaina, uh, you know, people after a hard day's work, they find it very difficult to sort of make time for their fitness schedules and you are doing this all day do you sometimes feel you you're reaching a burnout or you know that's just too taxing day in day out that's the beauty about zumba you know it's like uh, when you go uh, to office nine to five and uh, it's a weekend you're looking forward to partying right so zumba is exactly that it's it's a party we take the work out of the workout and it's exactly like a party so my clients, a lot of them are working women and they literally look forward to each and every class because it feels more like um, a fun thing that they would do to at the end of the day just relax and forget about all the stress of politics or you know absolutely the pressures of life so basically you're partying seven days a week <laughs> i am yeah i'm very blessed to have this amazing job that i really look forward to each and every day of my life shaina uh as you said you know you've been doing this for the last seven years and uh since you have children too so how did during that time when maybe you were pregnant or maybe you had delivered how did you then go back to such a grueling schedule uh, becoming after becoming a mother actually when i had my kids i was still flying for cathay pacific so um i took a good long break to you know um have my baby and uh, then after that i only joined back after five months when they were five months old Oh wow. So uh, tell me Shana, how important is it? Uh, you know, we're living in a society where it's very important to look a certain way and that sort of bolsters your confidence, especially for women. There's a lot of pressure. So uh, what do you have to say to women? You know, how should they make time for any sort of fitness routine? It could be uh, gymming, it could be Zumba. How important it is to include this in your schedule? I would like to think that it's not really as important to look good it is very very important and crucial to feel good so um it uh, there are 24 hours in a day i think we can make one hour out for ourselves uh, keep your family aside keep your kids aside keep your office work aside but just one hour in 24 hours is not really much to ask about and do something for your own well-being for your uh, not just your physical fitness because when you start working out those happy hormones will make you mentally stronger 
uh, physically fit obviously and emotionally better you feel good about yourself and uh, when you feel good about yourself um, you can take better care of your uh, loved ones and uh, you know you are uh, it, they say like we are the pillar of our families so if the foundation is good the building comes up strong so it's really important i think if as you said if the roots are strong uh, the tree will of course come out well and uh, you're right i think it's not just about looking good it's also about feeling good so uh you know you have a very hectic schedule ashana how do you maintain this work life balance um in my field it's really easy to kind of uh, choose the time that uh, you want to uh, dedicate to work and you want to dedicate to um, your other personal commitments so um i think it's pretty easy for me uh, because i don't have like a typical 9 to 5 job so i can plan everything the way i want to now i feel terribly guilty for not being able to take out any time for exercise you know we have so many excuses there's not enough time there's too much to do but you're right i think it all begins with yourself you cannot pour from an empty cup if you yourself are not feeling good about then you have really nothing to give to others yeah. uh, so shaina where do you see yourself 5 years down the line how do you plan to you know grow into this field and what is your next step um the fitness field is constantly changing right now uh, corporates are thinking more about the total well being wellness is the new buzzword for everyone especially during these times with covid work from home it's not only about being physically fit it's all the total wellness is what's important so um recently i participated in a miss wellness competition and i yeah and i actually got the second runner up oh congratulations that's an achievement if so much uh, it was actually a self discovery it was a learning for me uh you know we don't really spend much time reflecting on um our feelings or um, uh, what what we want and uh, you know as an individual a mom as a daughter as a wife we are always thinking about others pleasing others yeah so this has been um, a journey of self discovery and uh, there is always so much more to learn so there is uh, there are different courses that keep coming up and um, and uh, there is like this vast this fitness field is so vast that i can i could keep learning for the next 10 years and still have so much more to do that's awesome i think uh, you know the 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 glow on your face china uh, and the vibrance and you know you radiating it shows that you're so much in love with what you do and you know uh, we come back from work looking haggard and tired but and drain where i look at you and you're beaming and it's like you're in love with what you do i almost envy you so um shaina this show would not be complete unless i learn a step or two and practice it tomorrow so for all the people watching out there i want you to teach us some few easy steps which we can do while you know uh, we're home and we don't have want to go out and we can do this right in our pjs so please shaina I am not wearing my workout clothes but I would love to teach you the beto shuffle and okay. also another um cool act that uh, beto the founder of zumba has done yeah 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 Temperatura caliente, lo bailan hasta los presidentes. Qué malo nena, tú estás que quema, 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 quema. Super la DJ que te prendió. No le vamos a bajar, no, no le vamos a bajar. Ahora ponme salsa. Ahora ponme salsa. Ahora ponme salsa. Baila me salsa. I'd like to thank the Professional Times, uh, the Indian Media Council, and Nancy and Shitaj for giving me this opportunity to be on your show. And uh, stay fit, stay healthy, and be happy. And uh, thank you so much, Shaina, for uh, you could not have 
emphasized it enough the importance of physical and mental well-being fitness has become so much more than just looking good and as you said it's all about feeling good uh, on that note i would like to say a heartfelt thank you for coming on the show and for being such a sport and for grooving on zupa <laughs> Thank you so much. It was an honor to be part of your show. Thank you, Shaina. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.